Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be doing some more cutting, uh, felling some trees, dropping them. So see how this goes. Pretty much a novice at this. Uh, the other tree was the first time I've actually cut down and, and fell the tree properly with a hinge and, and uh, it was probably one of the biggest trees I've actually cut that wasn't already broken or hemp halfway you know snapped off or something from a storm already laying down or something so I'm gonna do that today try and get some footage uh, some tree work footage but my goal today it's the first Saturday in a while I've had a good chunk of time weather's good so looking to go out and just try and uh, get a few trees on the grounds uh, so I can make some rounds and then hopefully tomorrow uh, split uh, some of that stuff and then even maybe if you see the pile behind me there start stacking that stuff and one of the other piles before we get uh, get too cold here so I can kind of get an idea uh, where I'm at now I just mixed up some fuel so I, I got a couple questions too since I'm new you know again feel free to comment below um, always looking for advice if you guys see me doing something wrong in any of the videos or just a better way to do it you know hit me up let me know but so you know obviously I mixed this this is, was a Husqvarna premix 50 to 1 uh, you know I have some friends that cut you know cut and use chainsaws a little bit not as much as I'm going to so you know they they told me I should be using the premix uh, like true fuel you know that already comes premixed in the little uh, one gallon jugs or, or half a gallon jugs but I mean, as a business, like I said, I'm looking to do this as a business. So, I mean, you look at that. I mean, the little 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 jug of the the oil premix stuff is uh, for two stroke is like four three four bucks. And the one I bought was a Husqvarna. It's good for two and a half gallons. So I premixed it in a two and a half gallon, and then I just fill fill up my little canteen when I come out here. So it's a little easier to deal with. But I mean, that cost me I don't know three six eh, like you know nine bucks maybe to to get two and a half gallons of fuel versus you know the true fuel i get its exact you know exact mixture and it's um the fuel is you know high grade fuel but you know at the end of the day you're spending at least for me not on sale it's like twelve dollars a gallon so this year probably not going to go through a ton but i'm i would imagine i'll go through a quite a few gallons uh cutting stuff up but um i'm looking more towards next year so if you have any advice for for me for that anything you know brand to stay away with or maybe a trick or something that you do to uh to mix it and make it more exact um let me know post it in the comments and uh, i'll read it and, and respond when i can so thanks All right, guys, I'm back. So I messed that one up pretty good. At least just trying to get it to drop opposite. I mean, it was leaning pretty good the other way. So I ended up getting my saw stuck and then basically had to re-notch it and get it to go the other way with my other saw. 
Um, let me spin this around. So, see here, you know, here was my original notch. You know, down here at the bottom, a little crooked. I gotta kind of work on lining that up a little better, but it looked like it was gonna, the way it was leaning, even on the back cut, it looked like it would hit almost like my wood pile. So I moved the splitter out of the way just to be safe. But um, so I ended up notching it here. You can see the hinge here. Um, I mean, it was pretty, pretty even cut, but uh, you know, it didn't take too long. I didn't even have to use a wedge. It just tumbled over. But uh, yeah, pretty good piece there of uh, some lumber. But uh, the other thing I wanted to show is this handy tool. So I've just been eyeballing it and I have a couple people help me. And again, their, their measurement of distance and things is a little, um, a little different. So I'm gonna try this guy out. Um, picked it up on Amazon. Uh, it was a recommendation from somebody else's channel and it's just a, a wheel. Um, got green spray paint in it you can do any color but you could set it if that's in focus for 14 16 18 and then uh, 20 to 24 inch so so it's got a 16 wheel so basically you just line it up and uh, all right and here we are with the paint can so you can see you kind of set it so it basically sprayed the trunk there and then if I pan up you can see all the way up um, we kind of had to go a little slow but so basically center to center of those spray paint lines should be exactly 16 inches all right I just sharpened the chainsaw on my Husqvarna 460 uh, this was actually the first saw that I bought kind of for the business. I have two other saws. Uh, one's a smaller Husqvarna, I think it's a 435 that I had. I think that was my first uh, chainsaw that I picked up. And that was just for trimming trimming limbs and, and cutting some smaller trees. I'd gotten from my father. My father used to own a pawn shop. So I got that for free. And then I have an Echo uh, 600P which again, I paid zero for. It's got a 20 inch bar. Uh, that thing's a, a beast as well. And then I picked up this uh, 460 Rancher, just one to have a backup. Uh, if one of them gets stuck or I run into an issue, at least, you know, I have two fairly similar sized saws that I can use. And I still have the little one I can use. And I actually just ordered another echo the 590 with a 24 inch bar for some of the bigger trees just to have as well uh, but yeah so i sharpened the chain on this thing uh you know again comments guys uh, give me your feedback been trying to do some research on the chain uh you know how often do you guys sharpen these things uh, i've heard everything from like every tank of gas to you know when you start noticing that it's actually dull or, or doing a blade inspection uh, I mean, the thing cut like butter yesterday, and then, you know, I knew knew I've kind of got into the dirt a little bit with it, and I've definitely gone through more than a tank of gas, so I figured I'd sharpen it up. Originally, I mean, last time, just cutting branches and stuff, I mean, I never realized how easy it is to sharpen the blades. I, I went on Amazon, and I bought this uh, little sharpening kit, and then also a a little uh, drawing a blank now, uh, a vise, like a tree vise that you can mount it on the tree. But this little kit on Amazon, the vise, I mean, it's maybe 25, 30 bucks total. And I mean, I know the 20 inch blades, I think are for the Husky, like $20 a blade. So for the longest time, when I was trimming stuff around my house, when the blade would go dull, I'd just throw it out because I, one thought it was like a 20 minute process to sharpen and two didn't know anybody that did it uh, personally so i bought this and it's it's a lifesaver i was showing a buddy how to do it yesterday so we'll see how it goes um i'll try and set up i gotta get my other camera out at some point 
it's um, it's mounted on my side by side which is up there but i'll have to get it out so i can do some other videos uh it's hard you know solo you know i'm trying to as as i said before it's the end of october so i'm trying to fight against time it's today it's, i mean today's an awesome day it's like 50 out i think it's perfect maybe maybe a little cooler but i don't like when it's you know super freezing out but it's a great day so i you know don't really want to unfortunately for you guys i don't want to spend a lot of time trying to set up the cameras and just to get footage of of me dropping a tree but probably this next little cluster i think that guy right there i'm going to take out and then i want to leave this maple because as you can see she's pretty branched out and has a bunch of branches where these oaks they're pretty much just tops uh because they've they've kind of been smushed together and, and smothered by each other which i think is part of the reason why a lot of these guys are dying uh they're just not getting enough sun but so uh, i'll probably drop a couple trees today i mean this is the pile from yesterday that we did probably in two i don't know two hours hour and a half something like that i mean it was probably a little longer again getting buddies out here and they get you bullshitting and talking and it's not the most efficient way but you know that was that was yesterday and probably two hours so i'm hoping i'll probably cut a little longer but i'm solo today so i'm hoping i can drop at least two or three trees maybe maybe four Woo doggy. Another tree down. Use that little paint tool. Cut it all up already here. Doing good. First tree down. Now I just gotta pick it up and put it in my round pile over there. And uh yeah, then take down his brother right here. Alright, got tree number two down for the day. Let's uh let's get cutting here. Make some money. Done for the day. Good couple hours of work. Imagine once I split that stuff, uh probably have I don't know, maybe four, four and a half cords of wood already cut towards my this year. My, my goal, I don't know if I stated before, is uh, just trying to get 10, uh, hopefully 10 cords. That way you can kind of gauge the market and it's not a ton of wood where if for some reason, I don't know, next year something happens, I change my mind before I sell it. You know, I don't have a huge, huge pile of it, but hopefully get 10. I mean, if I can get 15, that's great. But you know, all in all that, that pile was probably like I said, maybe two hours uh, of work, and then probably have a little, you know, another hour in splitting it, uh, which isn't too bad. So, thanks for uh, tuning in, guys, and uh, stay tuned for some more lumberjack content. All right, see you guys.